Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's third video. So here we go, doing the 42 day look ahead with the ECMD I think extended model. It's going to take us into the middle of December. It's a six weeks look ahead and uh, yes, I shall get on with it for you. Uh, very shortly, just say that the first beer release today was JMA Friday, about a month, they'd look at with Japanese and CFS beauty models, and then a 10 to 14 day video, including all object features, was the second video uh, released today, we're on fire with the content today at uh, Gav's Weather Vids. Uh, and we're not done after this one, actually, because we're going to be live streaming after 10 o'clock time. We're going to live stream the GFS 18Z. Uh, now that we are into GMT, we are able to bring you that. The GFS 18Z will be updating uh, between half past nine and around sort of five, ten past uh, eleven. So it'll, it'll be updating within that sort of time frame. And so, yeah, we'll be able to do our first sort of pub run live stream uh, live for you tonight after 10 o'clock. We'll have a laugh and see what the GFS 18Z is uh, showing for the next couple of weeks. Uh, after 10 o'clock tonight in the live stream. Uh, but uh, this is the ECD 32 uh, day look at, or 42 day look at, I should say, and I shall get on with it for you right now. I'm actually going to begin uh, just with this because um, this came through just a little bit too late. Uh, for the 10 to 14 day. So I should have had this in the 10 to 14 day, but it came in a bit too late. Uh, but I thought I'd better uh, start off with this, because I suppose it's the most important uh, point, really, uh, of the day. A tweet from the UK Met Office saying, hashtag Storm Aiden has been named by at Met Aaron. Storm Aiden is forecast to bring strong winds and heavy rain to the UK on Saturday. Uh, and then there's a link to uh, the latest warnings. Hashtag weather aware. Here we go then. Let's run this. Storm Aiden. This is what Storm Aiden is forecast to do. Storm Aiden has been named. There it is. There's Aiden. Rapidly in for off the Atlantic with loads of weather fronts and strong winds as well. Yes, going to be wet and windy tomorrow. Courtesy of Storm Aiden. A bit grim. The rain will push through and then things will calm down. Uh, so 40 to 60 mile per hour gusts are expected. Uh, let's just run that again because I didn't quite see uh, everything they were saying about this. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, the rain will go go through during the morning. It's going to be very wet morning across many parts. It's going to be very wet and windy. And then it'll clear up in the afternoon. Let's just pause this when uh, the writer comes up. There you go. So, 40 to 60 mile an hour gusts uh, around coasts and... Uh, 50, 60 mile an hour gusts, I should say, around coasts and hills. 40 to 50 mile an hour gusts uh, inland. That's gale force gusts with, with near severe gale force gusts around Irish sea coast. So, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild uh, as we go into, um, you know, as we go into tomorrow. Very, very wet and windy uh, indeed. So, yes, yeah, Storm Aiden, our first named storm of the season. And, of course, we will uh, be uh, getting ever closer with that to Storm Gavin. So, that gets us off and running with our named storm list. Will we get to Storm Gavin? We know it's on the list. We know it's waiting for us. Will we get to Storm Gavin? Uh, will we get there? We shall find out later on in the season. Right, so this is what we're really here for. So I've brought you up to date with uh, Storm Aiden. This is what we're really here for on this video, uh, which is to look at the weather for the next six weeks with the ECM uh, WS. So we're going to look at mean silver pressure, 500 millibar heights, temperature and precipitation, uh, anomalies for the next uh, six weeks into weekly periods. So here we go then. Uh, this is the week one uh, mean sea level pressure anomaly. It takes us from the 2nd to the 9th of November. And anti so By the way, with this, the focus is always on the UK and Ireland. On a Tuesday, we look more widely across Europe, uh, European uh, look at. But for this, the focus will always be on the UK and Ireland, uh, really. So, but of course, you can't see the, the wide, wider part of Europe. So, so if you're within another area of Europe and you're looking at this, then you know really what the uh, weather will be doing in your particular area, of course. So, uh, week one mean cell pressure anomaly from the 2nd to the 9th of November has us under high pressure. The pink colours are high pressure, the blues are low pressure, so we're under a ridge of high pressure next week is going to be uh, much more anticyclonic, it will be much drier, but it will also be 
uh, a cold week for the UK and for Ireland as well. Uh, so that's right, the European and North Atlantic view. This is the uh, North Pole view in terms of the 500 billabar height. Just another way of looking at the data, really. So uh, again, we see that with, with this one, we're under above average heights this time. Uh, not just uh, across the UK, across the North Atlantic, amateur uh, Northern and Western Europe as well. Low pressure is up to the north, or below average heights up to the north. Just need to push northwards. So again, you get the idea that it's going to be a much more anti cyclonic week next week uh week one will be much more anti-cyclonic and high pressure dominated the temperature anomaly uh for week one oops let's uh, see if we can highlight that temperature anomaly for week one is going to be a little bit cooler than average for iwuk most parts of northern europe actually looking milder than average but iwuk coming out uh, a little bit uh, cooler than average actually i forgot didn't like to uh, put that up. Now we need to uh, put uh, this up as well. Sorry about that. I should have done that before I started the video. And that needs to go up as well. So that's our scale, of course. The, the brighter the pink, the, the higher pressure, the uh, deeper the blue, uh, the lower the pressure uh, for mean scale pressure anomalies. Same idea for the 500 millibar heights. Again, the uh, yellow, orange, red colours are above average heights, high pressure blues, uh, below average heights, low pressure. With this one, the darker the blue, the colder the temperature, the, uh, the, the warmer of the red uh, or the brighter the orange and red but the milder the temperature and this is precipitation anomaly again looking drier than average so uh, with this one on the scale whoops that's not quite right so let's put that up so uh, with this one on the scale uh, it's going to be uh, the, the darker the orange, the drier the, the uh, weather is forecast to be, the, the brighter the green, the wetter the weather is on the scale. Uh, right, so that's explained that. Uh, sorry about that, I should have had all that loaded up for a start of video. So drive an average, drive an average uh, for the UK and Ireland under high pressure in the, in the coming week. So next week going to be high pressure dominated, it will be quite cool and dry. Right, that's week one done. This is how week two is looking. This is going to be the 9th through to the 16th of November. High pressure is in control, but this time the high pressure changes its position slightly. The ridge uh, moves to be sitting to our east. That starts to bring in, uh, bring in, I should say, more of a uh, sort of uh, southeasterly to almost easy type wind. There's some lower pressure down here that might start to threaten some rain in towards the south and in towards the uh, southwest. This is the uh, week two. 500 mil of our height and only from the North Pole view down. This one again taking us from the 9th to the 16th of November. So with this one, we've got above average height sitting over to the east of the country. It does extend back into the Arctic as well, by the way. Below average heights, very pressure down to the southwest. Winds are kind of coming uh, suddenly to southwesterly. So, or south southeastly, probably. So, quite a bit of dry weather involved with that. There could be some more rain down in the southwest. Uh, and possibly still a little bit on the cool side, if anything. The temperature anomaly of uh, week two looks like that. So, closer to average, uh, really. But I would say, say, I would say, still a little bit on the cooler average side, if anything. It's mild and average down to our south and also to our north. So, it could be a slightly milder week. It depends really whether the wind is like south of east or east of south south really uh, and that will make a big difference to the feel of weather for week two uh, week two precipitation again going from the 9th to 16th of november looks like that overall still drier than average so quite dry and a little bit less cold for week two. Right, let's go back to mean cell pressure anomalies. Have a look at week three. This is week three, taking us from the 16th, 23rd of November. Oh, look at this. So uh, it doesn't look like there's much happening at all there, does it? Uh, not much to go on. Uh, so we're losing the scenery. We have got some higher pressure in the middle of the North Atlantic. Perhaps up towards green as well. But from a mean cell of pressure anomaly, not much to go on for week three. Let's see if a 500 millibar height shed any more light onto things. So uh, this week three 500 millibar height anomaly shows the above average height in the North Atlantic now. Uh, above average heights in the North Atlantic and going up towards Greenland. This white area is a bit mysterious. What's going on there? Maybe we could be having a trough of low pressure developing, although it doesn't really show it. But uh, if you get an area of above average heights through here and up to here, you'll probably expect some uh, some lower pressure, some below average heights to be setting up to the south and east of that through there. 
that could be going quite chilly if below average height set up. It could be starting to pull winds in from uh, north west, north northerly, sort of northwesterly, northerly type direction. Let's have a look at temperature on me for week three, 16th, 23rd of November. Uh, looks a little bit cooler than average, actually, for Ireland and the UK. It's not a particularly strong signal, but it could be going a bit cooler now. So that might be a slightly colder week there um, from me, uh, 16th to 23rd of November. And then the week three uh, precipitation anomaly from 16th to 23rd of November. Again, quite weak signals, but it does look a little bit drier on average out to our northwest. So that's where we'd expect to be getting some higher pressure. A little bit wetter through here, like through um, the Baltic Sea and down into Denmark, northern Germany. Again, could all just be a little bit suggestive of a jet stream doing something a little bit like that. And possibly pulling in some colder air from the north or the northeast with a travel low pressure to the east and a ridge out to west. But very weak signals for week three. Right, week four. Here we go then. This is the 23rd to the 30th of November. This is ultra long range forecasting. Please smash the like button. Please smash your like button if you are enjoying this. So, uh, week four. Uh, week four um, means our pressure anomaly looks like that. Again, very, very weak signals. Really, really weak signals. But there is some lower pressure through here. So, there's lower pressure like from uh, through the middle of the North Atlantic. There's some higher uh, pressure up towards Greenland, perhaps. It might be a little bit indicative of a negative NAO. Uh, that. Let's have a look at the 500 mm of our height. So, obviously, if that gives us any... Uh, any anything to go on? So uh, this is uh, 500 mm of height on week four from the 23rd to 30th of November. Again, signals for blocking up to the north around Greenland, more towards the Canadian side of the Arctic boat this time, perhaps lower pressure over Scandinavia. So that all looks a little bit indicative for northerlies, really, with high pressure there, uh, lower pressure through there. That's a bit indicative for um, for, for northerlies. But we do also have high pressure towards Spain. Anytime you get high pressure towards Spain, what that's going to do is going to try and pull the wind into the west. So uh, we might be trying to revert to a little bit more of a westerly wind there at the end of November. But still with Norman blocking hints. Um, so a bit of a battle going on uh, there in week four. Temperature anomalies are very close to average. So this is potentially a slightly milder week, I would have thought. Potentially just a little bit milder there for the last week of November. Precipitation anomalies uh, look like that. So, uh, I mean, it's still sort of indicative of blocking, really. Uh, drying up towards Greenland, wetter over here, like from northern Germany towards eastern parts of Europe. It's a bit drier down towards Spain, though. So that's a very complicated week. Well, I think we're still trying to maintain a northerly influence. But at the same time, the Westies are trying to come back, I think. So very, very sketchy there for week four. Right, so let's go even further out. This is week five, taking us from the 30th of November to the 7th of December. Thank you so much to the ECMWL for opening their treasure trove of charts after all these years, by the way. So this is the mean cell pressure anomaly for the first week of December. Now, this is much more indicative of high pressure and westerlies. High pressure south, probably, it doesn't really show, but probably lower pressure up here and a return of the zone of westerlies through the first week of December. That should be turning us milder through the first week of December. We'll confirm that with temperature only in a moment. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So just generally above average heights through much of northern and western Europe. But I think that could still be pulling up the wind from the southwest, to be honest. Week 5 temperature anomaly is looking a little bit milder. Look at this, milder through the first week of December. Is this, you know, is this the start of the West? Is coming back for the winter right on cue in the first week of December? Could it be? We'll find out in a moment what week 6 looks like. Uh, week 5 uh, rainfall anomaly, very, very weak signals by now. So nothing much to go on. But I would suspect if westerlies or southwesters do start to come back in the first week of December, it will probably begin to turn wetter. And then we've got the week six mean seal of pressure anomaly. This is going to take us from the 7th of December to the 14th of December. As I say, this is ultra long range forecasting. And this is how week six is looking for the mean seal of pressure anomaly. Bang, there it is. And that is very, very interesting. Look at that. The high pressure going north to Scandinavia. 
Uh, just generally a high pressure covering much of Northern Europe, but the centre is definitely over Scandinavia, which might be starting to suggest that in the second week of December, could easterly ants begin to come in? Could we start to bring in some beastly, easterly, beastly easterly ears in the second week of December? Could we? It's six weeks away. So it's a very, very long way out. This is how the mean sea level pressure anomaly is looking. Again, definitely suggesting that that high pressure is going northwards. Look at this. It's extending across most of northern Europe. But the centre looks like it's towards Scandinavia. Probably suggesting easy winds. Notice the low pressure getting stuck out in the North Atlantic there. High pressure going down towards Bermuda, by the way. That's always interesting. That's like the Azores High. You know how the Azores High always wants to go in that direction, uh, ridging into Northern Europe. But sometimes, just sometimes, the Azores High will kind of pull away, pull away towards Bermuda in that direction. That's what's going on there, I think. So, again, it's all suggestive that in week six, <laughs> it's a very long way out, me, so don't please just take me for yourself. But it is suggestive that in week six, uh, something could be starting to happen over Scandinavia and maybe uh, a little hint of a beastly easterly. Uh, and then also, we've got the temperature anomaly, which looks very close to average, but notice Scandinavia is going milder than average. That's because the high pressure is setting up there. Uh, going cold and averaging to western parts of Russia. Otherwise, you know, very, 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 very weak signals uh, for temperature. And for precipitation uh, in week six, again, very weak signal. But notice, drier, 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 uh, close to Scandinavia and the Baltic Sea. All those sort of areas where we look to for things to be very interesting when high pressure is in that sort of area. Because we know that they can start to feed in easterly winds. How long ago is it that we had easterly winds in December? I can't remember, but it seemed to be a very, very long time uh, ago. Was it the December to remember, or has it happened before then? Let me know in the comments. Uh, right, so uh, what an interesting update from the ECMWF for the next six weeks. It's all just for fun after weeks one and two, uh, really. So the further out we go, the more unreliable it gets. But uh, yeah, very, very interesting update today from uh, the ECMWF. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click like on the video. Let us know in the comments what you think. Make sure to subscribe to Gaz on YouTube channel. And uh, that would be absolutely fantastic if you can do that. Right, so that's it for your uploads uh, today. Not it for the content, though, because we're going to be live streaming after 10 o'clock. We'll live stream the GFS uh, 18Z, aka the Bug Run. And uh, we'll have a bit of a laugh as well. It'll be a bit of fun. And that'll be coming up after 10 o'clock this evening. Will you be seeing Gabpatine, perhaps, after 10 this evening? You might do. Uh, right, okay. Oh, over weekend. Lows coming up. Lows, lows coming up. So tomorrow, sadly, got weekend forecast. Got a 10 to 14 day as well tomorrow. I want to, uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. We will be premiere. We've got a premiere for the second uh, winter 2020 seasonal model roundup. Again, all long range ones together to see what they're showing for the winter. That'll be as a premiere on YouTube at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening for around 20 minutes or so. Uh, and then on Sunday, we'll start off with the night winter 2021 update. That's going to be a bit of an end so special uh, this week. Night winter update on uh, on Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, 2 p.m. We've got a premiere for the first Christmas update. Christmas countdown begins on the first day of November, as always. And uh, what else are we going to do? Uh, so we we'll live stream, of course, from 6 o'clock. We'll have our Sunday evening live stream. I'll be showing you winter data with that, I'm quite sure. Uh, CANSIP should be updated. Latest update from CANSIP. And no doubt we'll bring in some CFS data as well in uh, the live stream at 6 o'clock on Sunday evening. So I'll see you after 10 uh, for the live stream tonight or over weekend for all of the content of the premieres and the uploads of live streams and whatnot. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.